Hey everyone, this is Wayward911. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We are here now entering the Arbiter's Grounds, which is the fourth dungeon of the game. The Arbiter's Grounds is going to have a sort of undead vibe theme. Like the forest temple had the forest theme, the Goron mines had the lava theme, the water, the lake bed temple had the heat thing. You'd think this would have more of it. Well, it does have a sand theme, I guess. Whoa, Moldorms. But it also has that, I guess, because you bury people in sand. So it's like, hey, let's have our. Let's fuse the shadow temple and the spirit temple. Why not? Anyway, something to keep in mind. This is quicksand, so yeah. Uh, just be careful in here. I don't know why I changed into a wolf. Because since the human is taller, uh, that, uh, wait, wait, I may be wrong. Go, 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 go. Ah, didn't work. So yeah, quicksand. You can fall in it. That's something you have to keep in mind. Uh, but then I'm derping on how to get over here. I guess you do that roll. Yeah. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Anyway, let's just collect this heart here. Whoa. Oh, what? No. No! No! I don't want the freaking lantern. Die. Whoa, what? 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 What happened? Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. The platform fell on me. That's not nice. What? What? No, 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 no. That's not efficient enough. You have to do the roll. Otherwise, you won't get there in time and Link was spazzing out. Yeah, okay. That platform falls on you. Oh. Okay, come on. Is, aren't, isn't the Master Sword Slash after a claw shot strike supposed to be one hit kill? Okay, fine. It's two hits. Jeez. I'm spending way too much time in this one room. Oh, hello. These are what's called stalking. Stalk, stalk, stalking, you know. Oh look, a blue ruby. Anyway, this this with this thing here is what's required to unlock the door. You need to use your claw shot on it because if you don't use your claw shot, well, you're gonna fall in that quicksand. Ow! Okay. Now that we've gotten that cleared out of the way, let's get the hell out of this room, and... Uh, what's over here? Whoa! A treasure chest! With... A small key! Nice. Now, shit, 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 bugs, bugs, lantern! Yeah, these bugs, these will continuously... I, I haven't been hit by them in a while, so... I don't know exactly what they do, but I believe they continuously damage you. There's also a little compartment here. There's a little cauldron here with lantern oil. So, yeah, you can get more lantern oil, and I'm actually going to fill a bottle with that. You know, the bottle that had lantern oil in the first place. Just so I can have some spare lantern oil handy. So yeah, they're bringing back the lantern, apparently. 
Whoa, that's a lot of strikes. And that's bugs. Go away. I don't like you. Yeah. Alright, we need our lantern here more than ever because it's dark once again. And there's a bunch of stalking. I don't think there's any use actually fighting these guys. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, quicksand. Whoa! Die! Alright, let's just light up this here and... Okay. That didn't take too long. Alright, so... What? What's happening? Okay, dark ominous door. Whoa! Poe lanterns. Yeah. Poe's. No. No. What are you do? Ah, god. Okay. Never mind. Let me let me get take back what I said. You're actually combining the spirit temple, the shadow temple, and the forest temple. Great. Because these guys are Poe's. Now they're not your regular Poe because these guys look pretty freaking scary. So yeah, anyway, your tactic is you're going to want to jump at them and then do a fight attack. And then that'll give you a prompt to mash the A button to attack. And then as always, you finish them by ripping out their soul. Now these po souls do count for the for Giovanni's po collection. So yeah. Also their lanterns break and then the fire finds its way back to the pedestal over there. As this cutscene plays out. Now you can also sniff the po. We're gonna do that. Forget the Senevilli and learn the new smell. As much as I would I would like to remember the Centavilia, I'm gonna learn the Poe scent. Why can Link only learn one scent at a time? And why is the Poe's body physical? Anyway, in this room we have actually two treasure chests we can get to. Whoa! No, that's not what we wanted. Put that away. Put that back in your pants. No, wait, don't say that ever again. Alright, so this is treasure chest number one, and this contains... A piece of heart! Yeah. As always, rolling gets you out of there pretty quickly. Which you're gonna want to utilize. Whoa! Ah, that was terrible. Alright, these guys are known as Bubbles. I'll just let them go about their merry business. Ah, no, 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 get up there, get up there, get up there! Yo, stop! 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 Thank you! Alright, let's check what's in there! Jeez, we're having way too much trouble with this. Dungeon map, nice! Jeez, it shouldn't have taken that much effort just to do the freaking map. Alright, well, since we can follow trails, let's go. Let's go. Whoa. You're still alive. And you gave me a heart. Yay, back at 11 hearts. Now, this Poe Soul leads us first to down here. Well, the Poe Scent. So let's dig down here. And that's a switch. So, we're gonna open that up. Oh sweet, stairs. I'm not sure why that last one had to go down like two centimeters. But we're gonna go down here and... 
Oh, pff. Midna's the one that opens the door. Bu bubbles. Alright, what else is in here? Nothing! Okay, so... Nothing other than this switch, apparently, so let's just... Grab that, and... Okay, I guess we... The, do we push or pull? Okay, we push. This moves the Oh. Hello! These guys are re -deads. They're not quite as scary as they are in other games, but... They're still pretty freaking terrifying. What we want to do... Shoot it with a bomb arrow. Again. Yeah, two bomb arrows takes it down. And gives us a red rupee. Now, yes, they will scream at you if you get too close, but the scream isn't quite as terribly mortifying. Well, anyway, if you notice right there, we got a small key from the treasure chest. Alright, let's see if we can push this any further. No, we can't. So, what do we do here? Uh, let's see if the wolf form can help us. Um, it appears to have gone through the wall. Or, maybe I'm just being dumb and that's... Fuck. I am being dumb. Well, let's see what happens when I turn it a bit more. I can't turn it from there. Uh... What do I do? Uh, let's see. Um... Ah, okay. Um... Let's just push this again. Yes, we can push it as a wolf. I don't know why I was being a dumb shit and saying you can't. But yeah, there's an opening up there. Jeez, why wasn't I being careful about something like that? So, what we do here, transform back into a human. Get out our... I don't think we'll need our iron boots anytime soon, so let's just... Yep, no. Use this here and whoa! Ow! Stupid rat! More rats! Which one of you is Splinter? Anyway, there are two doors here. Huh. Well, two doorways. Let's check through the first one that's immediately obvious, and oh my god, Poe. Our Poe is here! I think. Let's transform into a wolf. Hello! A trick about these guys is that only when they're glow more glowing can you attack them. But for instance, right now. So yeah, that's the thing about beating these special pose that only reside in the Arbiter's grounds. And as such, the lantern returns the tor the torchlight. And yeah. Uh Okay, um... I su don't suppose there's anything up here, so let's... No, no, let's... No! Let's drop down! Jace! Does it have to be that hard? Let's turn this room around. Now see the end... There's no... The hole is not there, because 
we turn the room. How we'll get back to whatever. Uh, actually, maybe this is the key. Alright, that did absolutely nothing. Alright, wait, wait. No, no, I got a solution. We have this door! Which leads us here with the other door, and since we have a small key, we can open this! Huzzah! Let's see what's in here. Oh, not much other than a doorway to uh, another floor. Let's transform back into a human, see what we can do here. This dungeon will really make use of your dual form abilities. Because, yeah, since you just got it, they want you. It's a gameplay mechanic, sort of. Okay, and this is a fake maze because it's not really all that hard. All it really is is, hey, dumb shit, don't take any shortcuts. Do it the way we want you to. And anyway, I can't climb up here for whatever reason. <laughs> Can I move this sideways? Well, not really sideways in the Oreo. Oh, uh, wait. Something happened. Yes, we have successfully made this. So now we can get up here. That doesn't look threatening. Anyway, let's see what this does. Oh, okay. We can't do that. So what do we do? Well, that's where this box comes in once again. It wasn't only a barricade, it's also something we need to progress. Why? Because we need to put it in this little indentation. Because as you saw earlier, I fell off when I tried tugging it too far. But thanks to the box, we can tuck it a bit more. So let's do that. Now hopefully it, yep, permanently in place. Shit. What the, okay, permanently my ass. Okay, so we need to do that again. Woo! Because doing things over and over again is always swell. Right? Now, I have a feeling that I'm missing something. Uh, let's see. I don't suppose they call this the same room, do they? Well, they do call it the same room because this treasure chest is in here and that's what the guide says it's still the same room. So, we get the compass. Comp ass. <laughs> Why is it spelled that way? Alright, so now that we've gotten that... Whoa, that's a fire bubble. Uh, over there, I mean. Uh, uh, come back here. Get over here! Oh yeah, you saw that finish command, right? Don't use it. Because it's worthless yeah it's only worthless because you can't actually y you can't actually use it for a oh, whoa read it that bomb arrow that missed terribly bomb arrow bomb arrow yeah I'm not even gonna try anything funny with those guys but we get a small key. Nice. 
I suppose that's what we need. Yep, that's what we need to get over here. You know, I am using a guide, but I'm mostly doing this just by Zelda instincts, if you will. Oh, what? Don't use a bomb air on those guys. Ow. Whoa! Ah, re-dead. Ah, the re-dead screaming. Stupid asshole. Die. 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 I'm sorry, but wrong iteration of Redead, I know, but I have terrible, I have like, s memories with Redeads that I'd rather not have surfaced by this game. And, according to this, there's a Poe back here, so. I definitely hear it. Uh, no, that's not what we want. Edna, transform us into a wolf. Oh, there's a dig spot. Okay. So we just use this. And that opens up right here. Come on. Boom! Once again. And then I rip your soul out. Okay, so that happened, and then the lantern just returned back to, well, the lantern light, rather, the fire, if you will. Alright, let's just head up here, now hopefully there isn't too much to deal with in here. Actually, I think there... It's not much, really, but there is something. In the, this chamber, according to the guide, is called the Lair of the Ghoul Rats. You can only see them with your senses. And, yeah. A court, well, since they're ghoul rats, I guess it's obvious that they're ghosts. So, yeah. And anyway, we j we use that. We go over here, and we're back in the main hub with another lantern lit. All right. Okay. We're so we're up to about twenty-three minutes. So I'm gonna end this episode here. So. This has been Wayward Win 911. If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a great day.